Will it begin from the north or the south? We're talking about some kind of a conflict in Europe. This is analyzing the saint's prophecies. If war is caught from below, you will suffer little. If it starts from above, you will be destroyed, says the prophecy of Saint Cosma of the Tolos. So Saint Cosma's prophecies are from about 1750. Up and down, cauldrons simmering in two regions of the planet. And he said, we Greeks and Greece in the middle, locally for us the bell rings, but we don't hear it. The prophet Saint Cosmas of northern Greece received the information that the prophecy that there will be a war, but not from where it will start, that will be at our own discretion and free choice. In Thessalonians 5.3, For when they say peace and security, then suddenly destruction will come upon them, as if a plague were in her belly, and we could not escape. Because when they say peace and security, vacations, relaxation, good times, indifference to spiritual things, for a while prayer, we think that nothing will happen. We don't start repentance. We don't make an effort, and we are wasted. We have hardened. We don't accept the uncreated energy, the floating information due to feeding, cares, and having a good time, our life, even on Sundays, waiting for the events in the Middle East and in the middle of an invasion of the Ukrainian army in Russia, as if God is waiting for our final choice, as if waiting for the principle of repentance that will lead us to repentance of our definitive impatience and our destruction. Luke 13.5 says, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will be like you will uh, likewise perish. Where the war will start depends on us. Disaster means impossibility of repentance. It means hell. What the saint does not have a material but a spiritual interpretation. God is waiting for us, our definitive free choice, to allow war. A war that will take place from below and means that he has found a mood of repentance in our hearts, and we will suffer little. A war that will be caught from above, the north that is, that is in today's area of Ukraine, will mean that we will suffer a lot because there is no mood for repentance, but persistence in sin and uh, uh, fornication and hardening of hearts. If world involvement starts from Russia's war with Ukraine, it means disaster. Destruction is not a material, external concept, but deeply spiritual, it's spiritual death, or the, or the soul is led to hell, to fear, to darkness. It's an indescribably bleak situation, and it's difficult to get out of there. And if you lose all the money you had in the bank in an instant and get fired, if there is nothing in the supermarket anymore, if nukes have fallen and the cloud has covered Europe and the world, etc., this is the Hades on earth, hell on earth. Then, when you will be supported, then others deposits, other deposits work, other warehouses that you did not take care to fill when God was calling you consistently in many ways. What is impossible for men is possible for God. Even though disaster through Christ can bring us out, it's enough to understand our weakness, our mistakes, our cruelty, but will it be easy then, or will others still blame us? There are some, and sometimes he has to leave us in disaster if we are to wake up and call for God's help. Whether it's caught from above, which will be disastrous, or from below, where we will suffer little, this will be decided by us. God is now measuring us, and at the right time he judges, and he will allow destruction. This means that the gates of Hades will be open to welcome in darkness, fear, turmoil, gloom, in the indescribable state, the souls who did not want to start repentance in the time given to them. But from there too, Christ will bring out souls who will stretch out their hands to him in the darkness and in the indescribable pain they will be experiencing. Good enlightenment and the beginning of repentance, our friend GM says. 
Now, if war is caught from below, you will suffer little. If it's caught from above, you will be destroyed. This is what the prophecy of St. Cosmas of Itolos uh, received from the Holy Spirit. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I highly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.